Hey guys, this is our Sue Anthony review of the Lee Pin Lick Lick Speed Champions 1968 Fort Mustang Fastback. And this is the box itself right here. And as you can see, it's recommended for just 60 craft. And this is set 28014. Comes with 205 pieces. And yeah, um, the box art here looks pretty cool. You have the Gainer Champions. Uh, you have the Fort logo. You have the Leapin logo. Uh, the top, you have this handle. You have the actual size of the minifigure. This is the side. This is the other side. This is the bottom, and finally, this is the back. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same as the original Lego box. Um, you just have some uh, shots of the car and also the image of the real car. So, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So inside the box does come with this small cray. So this is the instruction manual right here, and yeah, as you can see, it's a very normal instruction manual. Um, this is the first page of the bill. This is the final page. And yeah, there are some uh, mistakes in this instruction manual. So yeah, they have uh, this paper for it. So yeah, uh, there is a mistake in step 19, which is here. This is very interesting because uh, the wheel frame piece is molded wrongly. It's supposed to have uh, only two studs, but they have four studs on it. So yeah, here is you're supposed to put a 1x4 here, but yeah, instead they replaced it with a 1x2 because the space of the other 1x2 has already been taken up by the wheel uh, frame piece. And uh, another mistake is in yeah in all of these steps, yeah the the finished build doesn't look like this. It has something that pops up which looks very weird, uh, and I'll show you that later. But yeah, this is original, and yeah you you don't have to use the yellow studs anymore, I believe. So. Yeah, you have yellow studs here. So, yeah, uh, aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for these instructions. So, these are the extra pieces right here. Um, they are here because of the instruction mistakes. Um, yeah, they have put in the wrong pieces um, and they didn't bother uh, taking these out. So, they are here. But, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the extra pieces. So this is the mythic itself right here, which is the driver. So he does come with a wrench. He does have his racing helmet, which you have uh, this visor, which you can lift up. But under there, you can see his face, this smiling face with the beard and stuff. And the torso print, you have uh, this jacket with this pocket right here. You have the Ford logo. You have the blue and red stripes. You have some black lining. And this is the back torso printing. You have the Ford logo and you also have the blue and red lining. And yeah, aside from that, um, that's pretty much it for the main figure. So these are the two builds included in the set here. So let's start with the timing board. So uh, for the timing board, it's a very simple build. It has a stand and yeah, for the board itself, uh, this is a sticker. You have uh, these blue stripes, you have the Ford logo. Um, you have the minute and the second and also the uh, microsecond and you have the distance which is a uh, quarter mile and yeah um, aside from that um, nothing else too interesting to the timing board so this is the Ford Mustang itself right here so let's start with the front so the front you have these headlights uh, you have the Ford Mustang logo you have the two gold stripes which will continue throughout the middle of this car it's the one of the main design of uh, the car and yeah these they are all stickers and yeah uh, here you have this bumper piece which is represented by this towel piece and yeah on the hood here you have this hood piece obviously you have uh, the stickers right here you have this Ford logo, you have this Leapin logo, this was or originally a Lego logo, so obviously they have changed it to a 
a leaping logo and you have this 68 right here you have uh, more stripes you have the speed champions logo uh, right here and I am surprised that they didn't change this to gainer champions because speed champions is Lego's name but yeah um, so you have the windscreen right here you have um, the gold stripe going on and you have the windscreen for the back which is this and you have uh, this final part of the gold stripes which is this uh, with the 68 logo uh, which is kind of turned around but yeah um, if you see the main problem here is with this this entire thing just pops up by one uh, level I guess and yeah this looks really weird and that's all of that is because of this um, yeah the this back frame uh, it's also molded wrongly but it can be settled with uh, a 1 by 2 piece but this this caused a lot of problems all of that was because this two studs here they were supposed to be a level lower um, yeah the same level as this this black stud so yeah I'm not sure why they uh, wrongly molded it uh, and yeah it's really annoying that they have uh, wrongly molded it and yeah but let's continue on with the car so this is the side you have more of the decals with the Ford logo you have the 68 logo with the white stripe right here you have uh, this company logo which is this spark I'm not sure uh, what's the full name of the company but yeah you have uh, these uh, wheels right here with the gold rims and uh, this black stud there's no any external uh, rim piece or anything like that and yeah it, it looks pretty cool and you know that's just that and at the back here you have uh, this uh, decal which is this clutch on company and it's on both sides and this is the back I really like the back design you have the Mustang logo which is printed so that's definitely great and I like how the tail lights are done they are done in a very nice way yeah they are connected to this uh, to the side so yeah that's a very nice technique and you have the exhaust down here which is uh, represented by these uh, lightsaber hilt pieces which they are clipped on so yeah um, that's uh, pretty cool so you know uh, aside from that that's uh, really it for the exterior of the car so uh, let's take a look at the interior you just have to remove this windscreen piece and inside you have uh, the steering wheel and also this uh, seat and this is a full seat piece which is very nice that they got that into there you can sit the main figure inside very comfortably and yeah and also there's uh, some extra space at the back which you can put his I guess racing helmet or his um, wrench at the back so yeah I guess that's pretty cool but you can't fit a mythic though which does not suck but yeah I mean uh, it's pretty cool that you have some extra space at the back but you can just put the main figure on here and yeah he can drive off so yeah aside from that that's um, pretty much it for the car so over conclusion of uh, this set here so how do I think of it well I think the quality control of this set here is um, pretty good I mean uh, the sticker quality of this set is good quality for the pieces they are great as well and for the Mavic itself, I think the prints uh, for the Mavic, uh, they are great. It's just that the head print, they could have moved the print a little bit more higher so they can line up with the helmet because it doesn't really line up. So yeah, that does kind of suck. That's the only problem I have with the minifigure and for the build itself, I think the build it's great. Um, it's just the molding of this frame piece that caused a lot of problems. Uh, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have to deal with that much uh, problems. Uh, I thought that I was building something wrong, but it turns out that um, they have molded it incorrectly. So 
I'm not really sure why. Uh, so if you don't want to deal with this problem, you should just get the original LEGO version. Um, this could just be a batch problem. Maybe I got unlucky and yeah, that was the only batch that have this problem or maybe all of the batches they have uh, this problem. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so if you don't want to take the risk, you should just get the original version um, uh, since the price of it is pretty good and you get a better quality. Uh, so yeah, whether you want to get this or not, it depends on you. So if you want to get this set, I'll put a link to it down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you very soon.